Got enough SP, I just need to heal everybody. Alright, everybody's healed. How much SP do you have left? 14 heals left. Okay. Is he behind this wall? No. But his friends are. Okay. Boom. Oh, uh, well, I was about to say we might want to attack the one that's about to die. Oh, we're doing pretty good. All right. Uh, are we eligible? Yes. We sure are. Well, for the paladin, anyway. Okay. Is this it? Leave this haven of night prowlers. Hold on, hit now. Um. Okay, that wasn't the boss. Let's go and save here. Oop. Wait. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Okay. Is that you? You the overlord? Yes, you are. What's that mean? What's that mean? Why is that different? Is there a def it looks like defend? Fire. Missed. Oh my god, you hit like a truck, and you hit multiple times. What the hell? Take cold. Damn! Okay, yeah, hit everybody at the front, please. Don't hit any of my uh, back people. Uh, fire. Oh, man. Ooh, he's almost dead. Come on. Let's get him. Oh. I don't want to check health because, well, I mean, I can check health here. Yeah, that doesn't take up a turn. Okay. So, yeah, my healer's really low right now. Come on. Kill. Oh, fuck. Yes! I didn't get anything for that. How much experience did I get from that? A lot. I didn't get any gold or anything. Oh, but there's the gold. Gems set in the corners of the chest glow with power. Open the lid. Morphos. A gaseous form rises from the chest and hovers in the air before you. I am Morphos, servant of Gaim and protector of Fountainhead. By releasing me from my prison, you have lifted an enduring curse from this fair town. Accept my reward and heed my advice. Visit the fountain that le that stands alone. Broken hooks. Flambridge. Whoa. Whoa. Jesus. Okay. So... Let's see... He gave me a rope and hook. I'm guessing, like, that was for people that might get fucked over if they didn't have one. When they were leaving the dungeon. Because they had to descend back into here to get out. Okay, now we gotta go through the frickin' death and destruction. Oh, wait. I was about to walk right through there again. Alright. Um. Might... Or no, no, my HP. Everybody's doing okay except for you. You're gonna die immediately. Okay. Strafe, strafe. And then I should be able to handle this one. Yes. Okay, we're out. Hell yeah. Did the first dungeon. All right. Oh, is that the one that stands alone? We'll go to that here in a sec. Let's train. 
Nice. Level... Oh, wow. I gained more than one level there for him. Seven, six... Are you eligible for seven? No. Five and six. Okay, cool. Making progress. So everybody that trained healed, yeah. Hey, you're poisoned. God, look at that HP. Hell yeah. Too bad things later on are probably just gonna one-shot me with that much. Uh, cure the poison. I hope there's a spell later on to cure that shit. I wouldn't even know where to begin looking for spells anyway. So does that mean that none of the uh, fountains are sludgy anymore? Yep, sparkling water flows through the fountain of Moonbeam. Fabled nymph of the enchanted meadow. Toss in a coin. What's this gonna do now that it's healed? Below the canopy of the vaulting sea lies the mystery of the ancient stream. An ultimate adventure must ye be to unravel their tangled scheme. Say so these are all. Uh, it says the same message. The mistress of the mara of marauders at the northeast tip of flames seeks the pearls of her greed requires for her spirit to be tamed. So these are all just hints for things. Are they all the same hints? Yes. So each fountain has its own hint for a coin. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Ah, crap. I got a ton of gold. Wow. Let's see if the shopkeeper has anything new while I'm. Yeah. Let's get another bow so I can. Brass longsword. Oh yeah, I got a flambridge, didn't I? Go check that out. Actually, bleh. let's go back in here and identify the flambridge. Steel chainmail, that sounds good. Sounds better than that leather armor I got. Oh my god, I got so much. Oh yeah, I can go turn the, uh, oh, I'm an idiot. <clears throat> I completely forgot about all those, uh, silver skulls that I got out of that dungeon. I can gain more experience and probably level up more people. Oof. And what, do I get like 2,000 gold for every skull? I think I only had two skulls. Okay, let's try this. Who is eligible? I got... Oh, wow, it's gonna take a bit. Alright. Uh... Now I'm gonna go look at everything I've got. Figure out what the hell... I need to keep and what I don't want to keep. Now, what the hell is an amulet? What an amulet do? Oof. Oh my god. No, we're selling that. Minus 3 AC. Screw that noise. Uh, identify crystal club. Bet you anything it's not all that. To hit modifier. Is that because it's crystal? 2 to 4. I might just go ahead and hand that to her. Because the cudgel is what? Is 2 to 4 just by itself? Or is it bigger than that? No, it's 1 to 6. But it has a... It has a bigger minimum damage. I don't think I'll use that. And plus it allows her to hit. Hit better. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm going to sell that. Because that thing's just useless. Okay. Now I'm going to assume the bronze flambridge is, oh my god, lapis splint mail, 3,000. I'm going to guess this is going to be better than a cutlass. Uh, yeah. And plus two to modifier. Two to 18. Now see, was did that just say two to six? Yeah. 
my gosh, you guys have terrible weapons. I don't think I could have gotten any better in the shop, but... I may want to give this to somebody who has higher accuracy. Oh my god, I can't check my stats when I'm in the shop. I might want to give it to a higher accuracy character that has just the same amount as me. Because, like, it doesn't seem to matter who kills what. They don't. Nobody gets a, uh... Nobody gets more experience than anyone else. I want things to just die faster. Um... Identify which item. Oh, right, I haven't even... I'm not even looking at anything. Alright, well, I'm gonna give that to you. Uh... The Lapis Splint Mail. Oh my god! Whew! Plus nine to armor class. Okay. Definitely gonna give that to the Paladin, because he... well... Because his HP is much lower than the other two here. Or... Can you wear that? I didn't even... These guys might have more AC than her. 14, 11, 10, 14... Okay. Because he's got, like, I don't... He's got a ton of HP. He can he can take some hits. For some reason, my paladin doesn't have a lot of HP. You'd think that a paladin would have more HP than... Than at least a rogue, right? But no. Um... I don't know where the logic is in that, but whatever. Uh, let me see if she can wear that. Can you wear this? Oh, it didn't say she couldn't. Yes! Now my healer can't get one shot. Um... Scale armor... I doubt you can wear scale armor. You're a wizard. You are not proficient, yeah. Okay, um, but your stuff's broken. Your padded armor's broken. Anyone else stuff's broken? No. Uh, yes. Inventory... Fix. Which item? Oh, I'm not on the right person. Fix. Padded armor for 10 gold. Yes. Uh, identifying more things. Wooden leather armor. <laughs> Wooden... Okay. What? <laughs> How does that work? It doesn't. It just doesn't. Wooden leather armor. How the flying fuck does that happen? Some magical shit. Identify bronze padded armor. Plus one, so it's... Oh, God. Give me one second. Okay. Alright, um... Let's identify the regular padded armor. How does... How does adding bronze to regular padded armor give it less armor class? What? That doesn't make any sense. Unless bronze is like a bad, uh... It's a bad thing to put on something. Short bow. Okay, I got an extra short bow. Who needs a short bow? I'm guessing one of these guys. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give it to our cleric. And hopefully she can use it. Uh... Is that it? Am I done... Looking at everything? Yes. Steel chainmail. You picked up. You picked up a couple things. Amber, short bow. Oh, everybody's got a short bow now. Plus three to hit modifier. I'm gonna give you to the most accurate person I've got. Six to nine. I'm assuming the uh, my thief is the most accurate person I've got. Yeah, you were gonna use that. Steel chainmail. Plus ten arm. Oof. 
I'm guessing the steel modifier is what's making that better. There was another armor that I was looking at before. Where'd it go? Oh, I gave it to her. Is it better than that? No. One less. And I'm spending so much gold looking at descriptions of shit. Like, why? There's got to be a better way. Um. Okay. I think everything's good now. Uh, I don't know why I have that still. Cross tap. Okay. And the dagger. I'll just get rid of that because I don't need it. Scale armor. Right. I don't need that either. Okay. So we're going to equip everybody with everything they they're going to use and then I'm going to sell all the stuff I don't need. You must prefer the what? Oh, man. It's a two-handed? So who Man. Nah, I think, you know, I'll do it cuz it's a lot of damage. And a shield is only what, like... Let me see how much AC you have. 14? Okay. Ah, it takes 4 AC away, though. But you got a good amount of HP, and I'd rather be able to, like, hit really hard if I'm gonna hit. Hey, okay, look at that. Okay. Uh, short bow, that's equipped, uh, steel chain mail, okay, I never figured out where, oh, I'll give it to him, because he's gonna be, the only thing he's gonna be able to equip is armor for, uh, for AC, then I'm just gonna go ahead and give that to him, now hit hard and take damage, okay. And I was going to give you the short bow, the amber short bow. Uh huh. And we're just going to give. Oh, really? Thurks can't use bows? Can. Uh. And neither can they. Okay. Oh, well. I guess the max amount of bows I'm going to be using is four. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, we're gonna... Uh, SSL. Okay. Yeah. Very minuscule amount of gold I'm getting off this crap, but... Okay, I was gonna have her equip that. I forgot about that. Okay. Orb of Sparking. Alright. We're good. We are good. Uh, I was gonna have her equip the crystal club, get rid of the cudgel. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother selling the cudgel for right now. Uh, did I, did ever, was everybody able to train? I forgot. No, no one's able to train. All right, let's get this uh, loan fountain here. An effervescent voice. Did I say that? Okay. Effervescent voice gurgles from the water. Give freely of your wealth of gold if greater experience be your goal. Will you drop gold in my fountain bowl? Yes. Excuse me? How much use you? How much? A hundred? Wait, did I actually give him a hundred gold and it didn't do anything? Is that the fountain he was talking about? Can't be. Let me check my quest. In the days when Fountainhead was created... Okay. I think I've already read that. I have no quests. Is that really the only one that was alone? Uh, now I don't have any quests, and I have no idea where to go next. So... 
Let me do that again. Let me give it a little more gold than that. Yeah, sure. Uh, a thousand. Did that not... Wait, stop. Yeah, I'm giving gold. Uh, give freely of your wealth if greater experience be your goal. Wait a minute, am I gaining experience? Okay, 41.53. Right? Yeah. Give a thousand. Yes. So it's one experience to one gold. What use is that for me right now? I mean, other than getting me close to leveling with someone if they're really close. And then I don't have to go kill something. But if I'm so close to the point where I could use a piddly amount of gold, why would I even bother spending gold to get experience? I guess it's for when I get really rich or something. So that doesn't progress the, uh... That doesn't progress the story, then? Then what? I got the Guardian. Hmm. <laughs> Do I just leave town and go exploring? Well, I think I'll, uh... Hmm. You know what? Yeah. I think I'll go ahead and save that for next time. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Uh, I'm a little tired. Probably going to go get some sleep. Uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, peace out.